Hey everyone, I thought I would make a quick little video in case you wanted to add a Padlet. This is a Padlet. It is a virtual post-it board. And um, this is a live Padlet for me. I'm using it in Math 43. I, I tend to play the high-low game. What's one thing that's going well or what's one thing that's not going well? And then I'll look at their posts and either answer those questions in the weekly announcement or make them a screencast. Uh, but to add to the Padlet, you hit that pink plus sign down here and this pops up. My name is linked, that's why you can see it here, where most folks go in anonymously unless they make an account. But you know, you can type whatever you want in here. And then when you just click out of it, it'll, it'll post. Now I'm gonna delete this because this is live and I don't want my students to see that. So let me, let me get out of that. And then I wanna show you how you create a Padlet and how you embed it into Canvas. So these are the Padlets I've already made. Um, and if you want, you just, you create, you make a Padlet. I don't know what most of these options are. I went with the first one. So I made a wall um, and then it has all of these options for you. And what I went is I went down to the wallpaper here and I changed it to the picture that looked most like a chalkboard because I figured I was a teacher. Um, so I went there and then that's that's pretty much it. So I can hit next here and it, it, you're ready to go. The one thing I would say, oops, let me close that, is on the share button, I've run into this problem that I need to make sure that visitors can write. So if I hit this change privacy, um, I've had a couple of my Padlets default can read and they need to be at least can write so that students can add to them. If you want them to edit, you, you can choose that option as well. But I've, I've run into that twice now where I it defaulted as can read so students couldn't post. Um, and I keep mine secret, meaning that students who see it in Canvas will get it, but the outside world doesn't. And so once I do that, and I'll go back here, I want to hit my share button and then I want to embed it into my blog or website. So this is the HTML code and Canvas is familiar or uses HTML. So I'm just gonna copy that and then let me show you how this would work. So this is back in my sandbox. I'm gonna add a page. I'll call it the um, Padlet demo page two. And then if you've never gone into the HTML code before, that's fine. It's this little symbol down here. It says switch to HTML editor. If I click on that, and I paste that HTML code in there. And then I just hit save and publish. My next Padlet is ready to go. So I could add to my Epic Padlet and say whatever I want. Oops, this is Epic. Um, and you can change the color. Oops, oh, these are new. I, I don't know what's happening right now, so I will stop that. <laughs> but I swear you could change the color on one of these. Oh, here it is, okay. Um, it looks like you can do more. I don't know all of the tweaks on this just yet. I'm, I'm kind of new with the Padlet, but that's how you make a Padlet. If you've got any questions, oh, before I get out of here, I thought it might be good for us if we created our own folder. So you can see I have like the Najla Abreu folder. If you want to make your own folder, you know, you can say I was trying out math teacher, right? And you can make your own and then you can just drag and drop these into your folder. Oops, and that did not work. So that is great. Um, it worked before. Oh, I know what it was. See, I told you I haven't, I haven't done this enough so I can add it there. And then when you go into math teacher, there it is. All right. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. Thanks. Bye.